everyone, this is Craig Shallahammer from Aura Pub. I'm going to give you a real quick demo um, to help you understand if you have indications, right, indications of an oracle parsing issue, could that be caused because there's a lot of similar yet unique SQL statements that is just flooding into Oracle. So I'm going to show you how to detect if that is really uh, likely to be the cause of that, of that issue. So really the core to this whole thing is the load that I'm going to place on the system. So I have a script I call angry and we're going to take a look at that real quick. And I want you to focus right over here. I'm creating this SQL statement. Okay, it's a real simple select. Select C1 from too much where C1 equals and then here's the magic right here. The filter is going to be a random number. So it's highly unlikely that I'm going to have duplicate or the same SQL statement. Okay, which means each one of these selects here is going to be is likely to be unique. Okay, so once I create the SQL statement, then I'm going to execute that immediately. Then I'm going to sleep for a very short time and I'm going to loop around for basically forever. So when I launch this, this is going to create a bunch of unique SQL statements. So when I launch this, I'm going to put in the background and I'm going to slowly load this up. Okay. So when I do that, that's going to be all great and everything, but we want to monitor what's going on. All right. So to do that, we're going to look at this from an Oracle perspective, right? Like we're going to, we're going to, well, let me just start with, let's look at the operating system. I'm running a VM stat right here, and I have a six core Oracle Enterprise Linux uh, box. And on the far left column here, you can see the CPU run queue. All right. I want that to be less than six. Otherwise, I know the system is just getting obliterated. <laughs> okay. Um, way over here, this is my CPU utilization. These numbers that are zero right now, if I, I'm going to add those together, uh, I want those to be, let's just say, you know, less than 75% and we'll be good. Okay. The other thing I'm going to look at is I want to look at, it's kind of a real, I call this my real-time session sampler. And this is part of my OSM toolkit that you can download off my website for free. And so that's what this is, this RSS, the real-time session sampler. So essentially, I'm going to sample every single active Oracle session, and I'm going to sample every quarter of a second. And when I do that, the output is going to go in this, in this temp file right here. So I'm just going to start that, all right? And then... Um, here's my temp file right here, and I'm just going to do a tail dash F on that. Okay, and see, so I, and there's no Oracle load right now, so there is no active sessions. Okay, the other thing that I'm going to want to do is I want to get an idea of the Oracle workload that's being pushed through the system, and I'm going to use the Oracle execution count for that. Okay, I'm going to use the execution count for that. And so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to get into the script here. It's actually pretty straightforward. You can always just pause this and check it out. But I want to get the execution count per second. I also want to know the parse time CPU in relation to the total CPU consumption. So this CPU used by the session is coming from, you know, the instance view v$ sysstat. Um, and I'm going to use that just for simplicity right here. But what I'm looking for is I essentially want this number to be zero. I'm going to have like zero parse time divided by, you know, all the CPU consumption used by the Oracle foreground processes. All right. But as parsing increases, we'll know this, this number, this ratio will start to increase. What's important to know about this ratio is that this can actually show an increase of parsing before we see that through the weight interface. And we're going to see that through the weight interface by the real-time session sampler over here on the upper right. Okay. Um, I think that's what... Oh, and we're also going to look at uh, some of the actual SQL statements and, uh, you know, the number of unique statements, all that. So I'm just going to start a little load on this thing. We're going to run the angry script in the background. Just got one, one of these going. And every once in a while, we'll see some activity here. Okay, not much though, because there's not much going on. You can see now that we are run queue is at once because there is one process that's actually running. The CPU utilization is right around 16, 17% right now. So everything's really cool. Okay, so let's take a look and see what our execution rate is. Oh, and I'm taking a, only a five second sample right here. So not, not very much. So we're gonna start that. And then I'm gonna actually gonna show you, this is my little diagnostic script that I'm gonna run here. Uh, and that's going to give us information. Oh, this is actually going to show all the SQL statements that we're running here. All right, so basically I'm going to get the force matching signature, the SQL ID, and the SQL text. And, oh, I need to set the, um, 
the sequel we're looking for. And that's going to have too much in it. So let's run that. And like already, already we have 18,000 SQL statements that are being generated. If I run this again, I probably didn't get something close to like 20,000. Okay, 18,000. So now, okay, now this is this is the key. This is key here. All right. Okay, we're going to run this statement right here. That's going to give me the force matching signature, the, the SQL ID. Okay, actually, this is not what I want. That's what I just looked at. I just looked at that. This is what I want right here. This is going to give me the force matching signature, okay, the count of the distinct SQL IDs, right? So if I have a bunch of SQL IDs associated with the same force matching signature, then I know there's a lot of similar but unique SQL statements because if they are truly unique, they will have their own SQL ID, okay? But Oracle says, hey, these guys are kind of similar, so it's going to give them the same force matching signature. In addition to that, I'm going to sum up the executions. Now, if each SQL ID is executed only once, that means that it, is, that it was hard parsed. So if I have like 50,000 unique SQL IDs and the sum of the executions is also 50,000, I know that not only do I have a whole lot of similar but unique SQL statements, every single one of them was hard parsed. So let's take a look at and see what we get here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I want a better, uh, I, want, I want you to see a real, you know, the real force matching signature here. So let me put some defines in here. Okay, there's the SQL. Here we go. So there's the force matching signature. This is related to the SQL I'm running right now. And we've had, you know, there's 18,000 unique SQL IDs that I've generated. Okay, and they, and we have a total of around 18,000 executions which means each one of these SQL IDs has been executed once. So clearly, even before we see any kind of wait event situation right here, even before there's this crazy load on the operating system, and even though you know, we don't have a whole lot of executions per second right here, there is an indication of a SQL or of a similar SQL parsing issue. One, because we have this situation here, and especially because we know there's hard parsing, and also, if you look at the CPU to parse time ratio, it's telling me that 28% of all the CPU Oracle processes are consuming is related to parsing. Okay, that's bad. That's usually super, super low, like, you know, less than 1%. So let's kick up the workload and see what happens here. So I'm going to get make this a little angrier. Okay. All right. So we should immediately see, you can see we have some active sessions and we can tell this because there's some activity that's actually going on here, okay? Dang, I don't want my email going right now. All right, so we can see there's more active sessions here. We can still see our run queues kicked up to six, so I really beat the crud out of the box right here. And we're already up to right around 80% CPU utilization. So I've kind of pushed it a little far right here. And we can see from a weight interface perspective, okay, that we're getting some library cache, mutex weights, Okay, and I bet you if we actually look at our situation over here, all right, we're gonna we're gonna see right that we sure we're pu we're pushing more executions per second. We haven't like reached that that you know that diminishing returns point yet, and we're still burning a lot of CPU um, in relation to the parsing. Okay, so let's take a look and see what our what these numbers show here. We can see again, all right, Oracle, the share Oracle is saying, hey, don't give any more SQL IDs. Now, there are more, there are different unique SQL IDs in here, but Oracle's saying, listen, man, it's like it knows what I'm trying to do. And so as I'm telling it to create new cursors, new SQL IDs, it is deallocating the old ones. And so that's why this number isn't getting any higher. But the story, okay, the story is exactly the same right here, okay, because we have thousands of unique SQL IDs related to the force matching signature and each one of those SQL IDs is being executed once which means we have a hard parsing situation going on okay and we can see we're being alerted to that now it's bad enough that we can see that in Oracle's weight interface okay now um, we can even kick this up even further right here. I'll give it a couple more and I'm just going to push this thing over the edge and then you're just going to see we have share pool latching issues right we got library cache, uh, mutex issues right here. You can see now that my 
CPU run queue is way over six, which means I'm beating the crud out of my, my poor Linux box right here. My utilization here is just right around like 99 or 100% right here. Okay, so let's run this guy. Actually, let's start our, our, um, our throughput and parse time numbers. That script right here. So you can see this, this story here is exactly the same. Hard parsing because of a lot of similar SQL statements. Okay, we can see we did get some more ex executions per second running through the system, but we will, we will quickly reach our threshold here. And look at that parse time ratio is still up there right around, it's around 33% right now. Okay, so we know that this was caused by a lot of similar but unique SQL statements. And one of the first things I wanted to show you is that this, um, that we were alerted to the situation before we were out of CPU before the weight interface face gave us clues of that. Our initial clue was running this real simple SQL script right here to give us information about the unique SQL IDs related to the force massing signature and that they were being hard parsed. In addition to that, there is the other indication was this little CPU parse time ratio, which normally when things are going good, you're going to see that, you know, less than like 1% when things are really cruising. Okay. Say, so, hey, I hope this was useful to you. You got a lot, a lot out of it. So enjoy your day and all the best in your Oracle performance tuning endeavors.